AGC is one of those giant companies that most people have never heard of, even though you probably come in contact with our products every single day. To be perfectly frank, when I first heard about glass, I was like, okay, why, why do I want to go work for a glass company? I didn't realize at the time all of the different interdisciplinary engineering and science aspects that went into glass and how exciting glass really is. Up by your, your rear view mirror, okay, that used to just be a rear view mirror, but now there's all of these sensors uh, and different types of, uh, of equipment that can enable, whether it's autonomous driving or 5G connectivity, and all of that gets mounted to and behind the, the glass, so we have to do some special things often with the glass in order to be able to allow those antennas to, to communicate through the glass or to allow good visual quality of the autonomous driving cameras or LiDAR sensors to be able to, to really see through the, the glass. So there's a few different ways that we're putting the antennas on the glass. Um, one of them is we're trying to hide them and we try to uh, integrate those into defroster grids on the, on the backlights of the vehicle. There are other types of antennas that we're laminating in the glass that um, can be mostly invisible or that we're mounting such as um, a modular style antenna that we're mounting to the glass as well. Not only are we doing antenna testing here, but we do all sorts of glass testing. So our antennas usually are going on or in the glass and we really have to look at the whole product that we're selling and really validate that it's gonna survive um, the harsh environmental automotive conditions. So we have large weatherometer chambers where we can do accelerated environmental testing um, with high humidity, high temperature, high uh, sunlight, and uh, yeah, we can really accelerate kind of what would happen in the real world. Everyone's probably very familiar, especially at this conference, with these prototype autonomous cars that we have rolling around that has all sorts of junk on the roof. Um, and there's a couple of different reasons it's on the roof. One is it's a prototype car, so you can just duct tape a bunch of stuff to the roof and it doesn't really matter. But in mass production, this is not gonna fly. Consumers expect cars that, well, look like cars and not spaceships, at least for the time being. The difficulty is a lot of those sensors, particularly LiDAR sensors, the interesting thing is the human eye can see through the windshield just fine, but a LiDAR sensor, if you put it behind a normal automotive windshield, it's actually completely blind. It can't see a thing. So we had to redevelop uh, an entirely new type of glass to be able to take that, uh, th some of those sensors off the roof and be able to put them behind uh, a windshield so it doesn't look so wonky you having this, uh, this prototype car with all of the, the hardware on the, the roof. AGC really promotes technologies and gives you an opportunity to, to work on these new technologies and kind of go for it even though there's a lot of risk involved and uh, yeah projects can fail but yeah they kind of really support technology development. Everything's changing with mobility, everything's changing with autonomous driving. There's different business models being built, uh, companies are shifting their relative positions in the in the market uh, and Glass has a lot of really really interesting moves uh, moves to make there so it's a uh, for us and for for me personally it's, it's a different challenge every day.